Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see the difference between string, string buffer and string builder. Now let's see the difference between string and string buffer, string bu uh, builder. Now string is immutable. Now what is the meaning of immutable? Immutable, me immutable means it cannot be changed. Now if you, want, if you declare a string variable and if you want to change the value, a, a, a new object will get created. So if you try to alter their value, another object gets treat, uh, created. Now in case of string buffer and string builder, you can, you can change the values of that particular string. You can append values, you can change anything, you can perform a lot of functions over it. So the difference between string and string buffer string builder is basically the mutability difference. So the string cannot, uh, cannot be changed, it is immutable and string buffer and string builder, they both are mutable they can be changed now let's see the difference between string buffer and string builder string buffer and string builder also I, I already have a video on strings in Java do check it out it will clear a lot of doubts now string buffer and string builder so the difference uh, is basically thread safe thread safety difference string buffer is thread safe so basically it is synchronous it can be synchronized that means two threads can call the methods of string buffer simultaneously. So basically thread safety is there in string buffer. Okay, and in case of string builder, string builder is not thread safe. It is non-synchronous. So if you, if there are two threads, if there are more than one threads and they are, uh, they are performing action on the string simultaneously, it will, it will not work in case of string builder. But in case of string buffer, it will work because it is thread safe. So any number of threads can perform uh, perform simultaneously. So the difference between string, string buffer, string builder is the mutability difference. One is immutable, the another is mutable. Now in case of string buffer and string builder, the difference lies in thread safety. One is thread safe, the other is not thread safe. Now when to use which particular string. So now uh, you should know when to use string, when to use string builder, when to use string buffer. Now when you know your string is not going to change, now the value, value of the string is not going to change much, then you should use string. But if your string can change and will only be accessed from a single thread. Now if your string can change values, uh, a lot of amendments are going to happen on the, on the string like append and all of that you should use string builder and also when it will be accessed from a single thread because string builder is not thread safe it can only be accessed by one single thread so string builder should be used then and string buffer should be used when your when the value of the string can be changed and can be ac accessed from multiple threads okay so when there are multiple threads and your uh, and your value of the string can change use string buffer also one more thing i forgot to uh, mention that string build builder is more efficient or more fast. Why? Uh, it is faster. Why is it faster? Because uh, because there are uh, because it is non-synchronous. Many uh, multiple threads cannot uh, cannot be called simultaneously. And string buffer is less efficient. So that is it for the video. I hope it is clear. And if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.